hope I'm not catching anyone off guard by saying that appearance is quite important in professional wrestling. These are men and women who go to work in speedos and have high definition cameras trained on them at all times after all. They're global television stars who are expected to be in tip top shape, their likeness likely to be plastered on a magazine cover or a billboard. And everyone knows that only the best looking people get their mugs on a billboard. Sports entertainers are expected to keep their tummies tight and their pecs popping, but that can be easier said than done. Life on the road, not to mention all the bumps and bruises and injuries, can make it difficult to maintain, however. As such, wrestlers can be forgiven for either letting themselves go or otherwise not getting as big and ripped as maybe they could. But sometimes wrestlers get caught by the gym bag and become dedicated to transforming themselves, starting with their bodies. Throw in a change of gear and a haircut and these performers can end up totally revitalizing their careers, sometimes. As we've seen recently, the hard work doesn't always lead to great reward, even if the likes and comments come rolling in. I'm Adam Pacitti from Cultaholic Wrestling and these are 10 incredible recent wrestler transformations. Join us. Number 10, Miro. I think we can all agree that the man formerly known as Rusev wasn't exactly used to the best of his abilities in WWE. Right before he was released by the company in April 2020, the former United States champion had been part of the seemingly never-ending storyline with real-life wife Lana, Bobby Lashley and Liv Morgan. While the booking left a lot to be desired, many commented on the changing appearance of the Bulgarian brute as he cut his hair, tidied up his beard and sported a physique that looked a little leaner than it had done in the past. Clearly, Rusev had been going for it in the weight room and he looked completely different to the man who debuted on WWE television almost six years earlier. This is not to say that Rusev had ever looked bad, of course. He's always been a bit of a specimen, but the newer appearance definitely suited him. The effort to improve himself didn't result in any sort of carrot from WWE, but the man now known as Miro gets to show off his bulging quads and throbbing shoulders every week as a member of the AEW roster. Will his focus lead him to the AEW title? To be honest, I hope not, simply because I don't want a championship belt covering up those beautiful abs. Number 9, Al Snow. Al Snow strikes me as being one of those wrestlers that would surprise you by how big they are if you were to meet them in real life. His body didn't exactly stand out during his Attitude Era Prime, which isn't really a surprise since he was surrounded by giants and lads and lasses who looked as though they'd just stepped off the stage at the Arnold Classic. But he's a fraction over six feet tall and weighed a solid 235 pounds. He was in shape and looked athletic without turning heads with his biceps and triceps. It was curious then that he got in the best shape of his life as his in-ring career was almost over. Burning off any excess fat and building muscles on top of muscles, Snow began posting pictures of himself on social media looking more like Ryback than Leaf Cassidy. Naturally, some made accusations about how he was able to achieve such incredible gains in his mid-50s, with many assuming that he was taking the same vitamins that Hulk Hogan did in his pomp. While Snow does take prescribed testosterone, he credits smarter training and a better diet for the cosmetic changes. Personally, I think it's Ico Pro. Number 8, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is a big old boy, isn't he? He's the type of giant who was going to get a look in from WWE whether he had any talent or not. Luckily for the monster among men, he has plenty of that too, but it was no doubt Strowman's height and physique that initially caught the attention of Vince McMahon and co. At close to 7 feet and near 400 pounds, sporting a beard that would make many a lumberjack blush, he was the perfect person to act as the enforcer for the Wyatt family. Over time though, as Strowman grew as a performer and developed his acting character, going from background player to main event star, his body began to change. Burning off fats, adding more muscle mass and toning up at the same time, the bloke completely transformed his body and looked absolutely yoked. That's what the kids say, isn't it? Yoked? He was yoked, right? Yeah, thought so. Pure eggs he is, that Strowman. Like many who undergo such a startling metamorphosis, Strowman's change has not been without its detractors or controversy. Eagle-eyed observers pointed out a visible syringe in one bathroom selfie, Braun later clarifying that he takes B12 shots as his body is super sensitive to caffeine. So if any of you viewers end up getting into a fight with the behemoth, just throw a cappuccino at him and leg it. Number 7, Big Show. 
Perhaps motivated by the arrival of new, more shredded monsters like Strowman, Big Show has recently gotten into the best shape of his life. Truth is, Show's fluctuating weight has always been an issue for WWE. They famously sent him to Ohio Valley Wrestling for several months in 2000 in a bid to shed some excess pounds, and over the years he went from pushed to punished whenever his weight ballooned. Known for his aversion to exercise and love of fast food and cigarettes, the world's largest athlete frequently had those in the office concerned about his health and wondering how things got so out of control, especially when looking at the stud he was during his earlier WCW days. Show has experienced a mindset shift in recent years and dedicated himself to improving his fitness levels. He grew to love working out and was inspired by a conversation he had with noted gym rat John Cena, who made a sarcastic remark about how a giant with abs wouldn't be marketable at all. Well, Big Show got his abs, enlisting a trainer to help him get rid of the blubber and add definition. He looks incredible, and it's all the more impressive when you can consider he's approaching 50. Number 6. Edge Another veteran clanging and banging and getting into the best shape of his life in his 40s is the not long returned Edge, who shocked the world by coming back at the 2020 Royal Rumble almost nine years after he was forced to retire due to injuries. Everyone was happy to see the rated R superstar back in a WWE ring, but once the shock of it wore off, considerable attention turned to just how bloody good he looked. Now, Edge has always been in decent shape and looked like a proper wrestler, but in his last few full time years, he did noticeably get a little softer around the middle and lost a chunk of muscle mass, likely due to his extensive injuries limiting just exactly what he could do in the gym. He naturally got smaller in retirement as he segued into film and TV work. When he returned at the Royal Rumble, he arguably looked better than he ever had before. So what's the secret? Well, Edge dedicated himself to getting ripped when he got cleared to return and put in a call to former tag partner Rey Mysterio, more on him later, who pointed Edge in the direction of a nutrition company. He then followed his meal plan religiously and combined it with high intensity workouts and lots of cardio. See? Easy! Now off you go. Number 5. Vladimir Kozlov Vladimir Kozlov was a big lad that WWE took one look at and decided that he was going to start right at the top. Given a nice winning streak upon his arrival on WWE television in late 2008, the Moscow Mauler was soon scrapping with the likes of Triple H, The Undertaker and Jeff Hardy and challenging for the WWE title. He was unsuccessful in his pursuit of the top prize and the following years gave him highs and lows before he found his niche as the sidekick and tag partner of Santino Morella, before he left the company in August of 2011. Since WWE, our man Vlad has been a busy boy, focusing on his career in film and television where he works as a stuntman producer and actor. He's also completely transformed his body, getting those muscles nice and tight for casting agents in Tinseltown. It's really an incredible transformation, and with the badass beard and Grand Theft Auto wardrobe, he barely looks like the same bloke. Really, you have to assume that if this Kozlov walked into Vince McMahon's office at Titan Towers, he would have a very different run than he did the first time round. As it is, Kozlov seems happy enough lifting his massive weights and appearing in stuff like Netflix's The Punisher series while selling vodka on the side. You can take the boy out of Ukraine, etc. Number 4. Jinder Mahal one of the more startling wrestling transformations in recent history is that of Jinder Mahal. As a supporting member of the three-man band group, Jinder was a bit part player during his first spell with WWE. Over time, he became just another face in the crowd and rarely built up any momentum. Because of this, his June 12, 2014 release didn't exactly catch anyone off guard. Rebuilding himself on the independent scene, Mahal looked not only at what improvements he could make as a worker, but how he could alter up his look. When he returned to WWE in the summer of 2016, he looked a little bigger, but noticeably gained a lot more muscle over the next few months. Like loads more, it looked like the new Jinder had eaten the old Jinder. The man was buffed and pumped, and surprise, surprise, his new form coincided with a change in his fortunes. Before long, the modern day Maharaja was WWE champion. Sporting one of the best bodies in the business and a cool new beard, he looked like a star. So, how did he do it? Well, Jinder cut out alcohol and any and all junk food and apparently dedicated himself to the iron and the protein. I would do the same thing to be honest, but I love beer and burgers and I really hate bench presses. Looks like I'll have to become WWE champion some other way. Number 3. Drew McIntyre 
Jinder wasn't the only 3M beer who was unceremoniously dumped by the company on June 12, 2014. His traveling partner, Drew McIntyre, was kiboshed as well. Drew's departure was a bit more shocking since he was a former Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion who had previously been introduced on television by Vince McMahon himself, no less, as the Chosen One, destined to become WWE Champion one day. Didn't quite work out like that originally, as Drew slid down the card as he fell out of favor. Knowing that he had a lot more to show, he was reborn on the independent and international scenes, where he worked diligently at improving his craft and getting that superstar look back. Since his return to WWE, McIntyre has continued to transform in front of our very eyes. Again, he was never in bad shape or anything, but he came back looking like a WrestleMania main eventer in the making. And wouldn't you know it, the hard work paid off, as Drew had the rocket strapped to his burly back and he beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title at the Showcase of the Immortals. Drew has said that after he broke his neck in an independent match, he realized that he could spend the time out of ring making improvements and has since changed up his routine and diet in order to achieve the body he wanted. Number 2. Big Cass the fall of Big Cass was a disheartening thing to witness. Whatever you think of him and Enzo and their pairing, you cannot doubt that they were an entertaining act. They got over largely based on their charisma and promo ability and unique look, but it was clear from day one that they would be broken up sooner or later and that WWE would attempt to make the seven-footer a star. Regrettably, his singles push didn't come off as planned due to injuries and backstage behavioral issues, and he was let go. He wound up on the indies where more erratic behavior sadly followed. Many fans also criticized Cass's physique as he had lost considerable muscle mass and definition since leaving WWE. It later transpired that Cass had been in a bad place and was battling depression and alcohol dependency. Thankfully, he resurfaced many months later looking the opposite of SAWFT, drawing further comparisons to former WWE star Test, with whom the New Yorker is often likened to. Better still, Cass seemed to be doing much better overall, saying in interviews that he'd taken the time to get his life back on track while hitting the treadmill and dumbbells. Cass recently made a surprise return to the ring at a Lariato Pro Wrestling show and looks to be in the best shape of his life. And you can't teach that. Well, maybe DDP can. Number 1. Rey Mysterio Given his smaller stature, incredible agility, and wrestling style, nobody expects Rey Mysterio to look like Paul Orndorff. But since his mid-90s WCW days, the biggest little man has clearly put the work in at the gym. When he showed up in WWE in 2002, he was noticeably less thicker, but over the next decade or so, his body would change a lot. Once again, Ray was never in what you would call bad shape. He still looked like an athlete, but the changes were noticeable and even led to him covering up his torso with a vest. He left WWE in 2015 and worked elsewhere over the next few years, getting in better and better shape as he dictated his own schedule. When he returned to WWE at the 2018 Royal Rumble, fans were in awe. Mysterio entered the match shirtless and wearing tights, looking like a 5 foot 6 inch brick mask house. Another member of the 40 and over club, Ray Ray is one star who changed his approach to diet and workout and reaped the rewards. He is in the best shape of his entire career and hasn't had to sacrifice any of his speed or alter how he wrestles to accommodate the added beef. Right, list done. I'm off for a kebab and a pint. Who's with me?